Right, welcome folks. Uh, the Bride, it's like a Frankenstein movie. We've got our first look at it. I think this I think this revealed yesterday, uh, but yesterday was really, really hectic, so I haven't managed to get to it. This is with Maggie Gyllenhaal. Christian Bale, it doesn't look good, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to be super negative, but you'll see what I mean. Frankenstein's got tattoos. You know, I like tattoos. I have tattoos. Um, not really on Frankenstein, though. So, it's a bit... It is what it is. What do you guys think? Let's have a look. Um, this is uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal's Instagram. A side note, follow me on Instagram, at Mistake Reviews. And she just shared, meet the bride and Frank. The bride. Camera test, first look. Uh, and it is with Christian Bell and Jesse Buckley. So, here's the camera test. The clacker. Uh, standard standard sort of um, tech stuff on there there's the bride jesse buckley looks like not blood but black stuff like an oil i mean it looks like it could just be lipstick though don't really know what that is uh there you go hope is tattooed on him <laughs> i don't know I yeah I don't know um, and there's also something else written on his shirt there uh, it says the uh, Verdorben I think V E R D E O V E R D O R uh, is it Div yeah, ver, ver, verdorben means spoiled or corrupted or corrupt. So, I guess there's some sort of symbolism there. Hope, verdorben, spoiled hope, corrupted hope. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. That's it's not my cup of tea. The prosthetics look look fun. Christian Bale's choosing some really weird stuff to do lately. Um, I don't know if there's anything else uh, on here either, though. Like, uh, can we... Can we go a bit closer to it or not? I don't think we can. We cannot. Um, we can see that there. Ver Verdorben. Verdorben. Which, yeah, does mean corrupted, no hope, spoiled. So he's saying, like, corrupted hope. I just think, I don't know, this is not my cup of tea. People seem to like it, though. So if you go to the comments, bail! Finally, some more bail. Cool, I guess. Those are people that are obviously, you know, friends with Maggie Gyllenhaal. Other celebrities, Kirsten Dunst, Jessica Chastain. Um... Why can't Christian Bale play? I don't really understand what that means. What? What do you mean? When he plays a villainous role, I'm in awe. I'm very confused what that is. Anyway, uh, where is John Mulaney's young cop? Jesse Buckley world, and we're just living in it. The Machinist, The Prestige, Hostile, some of my favourites. There doesn't really seem to be a lot actual like people actually commenting on it. Y'all deleting every single negative comment or what? Oof, 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 oof. That's not good. Oh, they are actually deleting negative comments then. Someone else has chimed in and says, yes, yes, they are. Did not know that, actually, because the response hasn't been great on Twitter, for instance. That's funny. That's bad. This looks punk rock. Amazing. So excited. It doesn't look good. I'll wait for Oscar Isaacs's version, thanks. Because that's the other thing. There are two Bride of Frankenstein movies releasing or wor being worked on. So there's an Oscar Isaacs uh, Del Toro one, which, no offence, I'm more intrigued about that one than I am this. This is Maggie Gyllenhaal's... I, I don't know, it just, uh, this just, it just looks weird. It doesn't look like my cup of tea. Um... 
uh, do you not know that Frankenstein is the name of the scientist, not the monster? Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, which is usually something Bale would point out. Mm, yes, that is true, actually. Yeah, that's weird that they've been... Well, it's not weird that they've been deleting it. But they have been, apparently, been... Oh, looks like effing shit. <laughs> Horrible concept. Yeah. But apparently, they've been deleting other negative comments. So that's bad. Christ is back? What? Uh, Rachel and Bruce working together. Who's the other one that's working on this? Then? I don't know. Yeah, this this is not... It just seems a very strange directorial sort of choice to go down this. I mean, this is very Jared Leto-esque in Suicide Squad. Also, not only that, it is also uh, Shades of the Crow, which the response has not been good to that either. I, think, I don't think people... I don't know, it seems to be like Hollywood is like, yeah, tattoos means edgy, yeah. But then, you know, it releases to the mainstream and people are just like, no, that's edgelord and it's lame, you know? Yeah, not good. Really not good. A lot of it's positive, which makes sense if they have been deleting stuff. Uh... But yeah, Twitter was not very kind. It, it, it was on Twitter and people were like, holy shit, that's crap. That's like real crap. Like real, real crap. Well, there you go. It's just going to be a sea of positivity there, isn't it? Look, what do you think? Vidorban. I can't make out the rest of it up here. Can't make out that, but Vidorban here. Hope. It's a, it's a strange choice to go down. This is quite nicely shot. That's a camera test. Like the color grading. It looks fine. But there you go. Maggie Gyllenhaal. This is the other the sort of <coughs> um, post about it all. Maggie Gyllenhaal's Frankenstein movie. Opposite Jesse Buckley, Christian Bale, Penelope Cruz and Peter Sarsgaard. But then this is what we get. Yay! Give, give us less Joker, more classic, please. That would be great. Leave your thoughts down below. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.